Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to give you a full tutorial on how to use FS Poster. FS Poster is a WordPress plugin you can use to automatically post your WordPress post to over nine social media platforms. In the previous video, I've shown you two free plugins you can use to post your WordPress sites to social media. So let's get started. So this is FS Poster. This plugin is a premium plugin that is you have to buy it. You can check the description of this video to see a link on where to buy this plugin. So I have installed and activated this plugin and this is how it looks like. And looking at your shared post count, that is the number of posts this plugin has helped me to share on different social media platforms. And look at the click counts. The number of clicks is get it gets on a daily basis. You can see 315. You can see over 250. So it shows you the stats, the number of posts, and also the clicks, the total clicks from all the social media platforms that is connected to your WordPress site or to this plugin. Then you can see that once yes in this month, in this month, then you have 393 clicks total clicks for the month as the month goes on you keep on you keep you keep on counting then four accounts added four accounts to this wordpress plugin you have 393 from schedules let's go to accounts accounts is where you can add your social media account then for facebook if you click on facebook I've already added an account, but if you buy this plugin, you will see where it says add account, add account. Let's for instance, this Instagram have not added an account to it. So you can see this, this is the same way it shows for every of these accounts on this plugin. You click on add an account. When it opens, you simply click on add an account. Adding your social media account on this plugin is very very easy it is not complicated something you can easily do in the sense you can add your instagram twitter pinterest telegram reddit so the list goes on and on and on so you you, you select or you add the account you want to post your wordpress site your wordpress post to the one thing i love about this plugin is the schedules you can schedule what your wordpress post this is where you set up where you want this plugin to post on your social media account you set up for example look at the schedule i've had four schedule and this one is finished then these ones are still active they are still active so to set up a schedule all you have to do when you get to this point you click on schedule this is very very easy to set up then as for the name you put any name any name you like then start date when do you want it to start do you want it to start today or do you want it to start in the future maybe you want it to start on 22 of this month of the particular month you want you click on it then what's the frequency of how you want this plugin to post on social media do you want it to post on social media platforms once in every two hours or every five hours this is where you set it off or you want it in days you want it one per day you click on this or you want it in minutes you click on this so whichever one you like you you select it then scroll down other post by that is, how do you want plugins to post the content from your site, social media? Do you want RAM only without duplicates? Or you want it to start from the oldest, from the oldest to the to new post, or from the latest post to the to old post? So it depends on you. It depends on your goal. If your goal is to refresh old contents, then this should be what you should go for, oldest to new, so that your users will be aware of your old content before 
getting away of your new post. So it depends on your goal. It depends on what, how you want it. So set that up. Then we have auto schedule. This is where you, if you click on it, it means it can automatically repeat this schedule you set up. So I don't, I don't, I don't click on this. So you scroll up, click on filters. Let's go to filters. Then at this point, by the publish time of the post, when do you want this plugin to start posting? Is it from the post you made in, is it from the post you made at a particular time? Let's say the, the post you made like three weeks ago or four days ago or today, you can select, select that six months ago or you can select use custom date range. You select it and click OK. This plugin will, will post from this date to this date and stop. So it depends on what you want. Depends on what you want. Then we have by post type. By post type, is it by post or page? What, most of all press posts is usually in the post format. Only few contents are in form of pages. It depends on how your WordPress site is structured. You can click on page. What is going to do is going to post from page to your social media. Then by the post category, this is another place I love about this plugin. It don't just post for more categories. You can choose from a specific category or tags you want this plugin to post from. This is good for sites that are multi-niche, multi-niche sites that has a lot of categories. So you can say, okay, I want to post from only, okay, how to or articles or entertainment or celebrities. So you select, you select the category one. If you scroll down, you will see the tags on your site. So you select any one you would like, you select it. Now, after you've selected it, then Pacific Post ID. You can ignore this. I'm not interested in this. Then go back, then click on accounts. This is where you're going to add the account that the social media account you wanted to post. But before you click on accounts or before you start schedule, make sure you have done the first process, which I've shown you in the beginning of this video. Under accounts of FS Poster, you must have added your social media accounts. If you don't have your social media accounts, you will not see, you will not be able to add an account from here. The only account that will reflect here or will show here is one you have already added. So let's assume you've I've added, I've added accounts to this. You click on add account, add. Then as you can see it brought out all the accounts on this connected to this plugin, both for my Facebook. Twitter, Pinterest, all of them are showing here. So if it's, it's, you can also use this search box to search for a particular account. If you know the name of the page, or maybe the name of the page or account you want to, you want to add to the schedule, you can click here and search for it. Then after you've done that, let me click this on this account. Then you select any account. You can see select added to list. So after you've selected the accounts, then you can close it. Then the next step is custom message. This is optional, but this is what I usually do. After this title, I usually add this content that is content short. What this means is when you post the title, it's going to add 40 characters or 40 words along with the post. So sometimes I, you can also change it if you want it to be 100 words. We add it as 100 words. Remember, you can play around with all this, but the best way I usually use to post on social media is using this too. You can also add tags. You can click on tag. That is, it's going to post the title, the content, and at the bottom of this content, is going to add hashtag that is the tags that that post that particular post it posted on your social media account is connected to 
then after you've done that you then custom customize story message i don't touch this leave it the way it is but you can still play around with all this you can still try out and see how it looks like on your social media account and from there you can adjust it the way that best suits you then after you've done that you click on add a schedule once you click on add a schedule to schedule it but let's, let's let me try it add a schedule no post match you see if i change this to pay let me change it to pages then change this to i change this to last week last 15 days then i cannot click on add a schedule So it's, it has scheduled the WordPress post, it has scheduled. So what, what, what this does is it's going to work according to my schedule, according to what I have set up. So I'm going to delete this. I don't need this just for you to show you an example. So that is how to schedule using this plugin. The other part of this plugin is direct share. Direct share. If you have a particular content you want to share directly to your social media account, you can do that. You add the title here, add the pics, add the image, then also then include the URL of your website. You can also post without using URL. Then here you enter the custom message. And after you've done that, you can now click on share now or you can schedule it. Yeah, you can schedule it. Okay, before you even schedule, you have to add an, your account. Yeah, add the account. First of all, you must have added your account. From this, only the account you, you, you've already added from this account, account will reflect on direct share. Then we have the logs. The logs will show you all the, all the posts that have been shared on your social media account the successful ones and the unsuccessful ones so you can see this one is showing error it didn't go through so what i have to do you can if it didn't go through you can click on retry if, if you click on retry it's going to repost or try to post that content again and you can see that successfully posted that content that failed initially to the social media account and mind you this is commonly with my social media my twitter social media for my facebook account it don't usually fail it's usually success you can see this is facebook fb you can see success all these ones that failed is from twitter i don't know why it failed you can see all these ones are usually Twitter that are filled. Pinterest also goes through. My Pinterest sharing, my Pinterest sharing also goes through. Well, most of the ones are from Twitter. I don't know why it failed, but that is it. This is where you see, you're going to see the ones that are failed and the ones that didn't fail. And also, if you look at this, this top, you can see FS posts that they have 52 failed posts. It, it also gives you a notification of the ones that failed only give you notification of the one that failed. if it's successful it will not show you this notification you have to come to the logs to see those ones that are successful for this i don't have any business with this i don't have any business so i will go to settings settings is where you are you make additional individual settings for each of the social media account well, you have general settings here. It's allowed post type. You can set it up or add any one you want it to be there. Then if you scroll down, you, you see a lot of features. Anything you you change here after that, you make sure you click on save changes. Save changes. Then we have URL settings. URL settings. This is another part. FS post that stands out. For the URL settings, you, you don't, if you don't want to post, if you don't want this plugin to post your website URL to 
to Facebook or any of your social media account, you can set it up here. You can switch this off and select this. So when you select this, you you select any of the URL shortener service, or you want Bitly, you want tiny URL, or whatever one you want to click on it. Then you set it up here. You put the API URL and set it up. But these are, but I don't use that. I leave it this way. This is how I want. This is how I want it to be on my social media account. The only part is setting up the individual social media account that is connected to this plugin. And after you've done that, after any settings you've done, you click on save changes. So that is how to set up your FS poster plugin. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like this video and comment if you have any question. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next video.